Hi, welcome to the Yale University Art Gallery in New Haven, Connecticut. Come on in and have a seat. This is Stories in Art. Please feel free to pause the video whenever you'd like to get a closer look at the artwork. Enjoy! My name is Emmanuel, and I'll be your storyteller. Today I will be telling a story called The Boy Who Drew Cats. There are versions of this story from China, Japan, and other parts of the world. But today, I'll be telling a version originally translated into English from Japanese by Lafcadio Hearn in 1898. Why don't you take a look at this image from the Yale University Art Gallery's collection? It's a hanging scroll by the Chinese artist Ren Yu. What do you see? We found a few images from artwork across the gallery's collection with cats. As you listen to me tell the story, Keep looking at the images and see what you notice. Now let me tell you the story about the boy who drew cats. Once there was a boy who loved to draw. His name was Joji. Joji grew up on a farm with lots of brothers and sisters. The others were a big help to their father and mother, but not Joji. He did nothing for hours but draw in the dirt with a stick. And what Joji drew was just one thing. Cats! Cats, cats, and more cats. Inside cats, outside cats. Cats, cats, cats! Joji, his father told him, you must stop drawing all those cats. How will you ever be a farmer? I'm sorry, father. I'll try. And he did try. But whenever Joji saw one of those farm cats go by, he forgot about all of his chores and drew another cat. Joji will never be a farmer, said Joji's father sadly to his mother. Maybe he could be a priest, she told him. Why don't you take him to the temple? So his father brought him to the priest at the village temple. The priest said, I would gladly teach him. From then on, Joji lived at the temple. The priest gave him lessons in reading and writing. Joji had his own box of writing tools with a brush and an ink stick and an ink stone. Joji's writing tools might have looked like these. Here are some Chinese brushes made with wood, bamboo, and goat hair, and a Japanese writing box with an ink stone called Usuzuri. Joji loved to make the ink with his ink stick and stone. He would pour water onto the stone. He dipped the ink stick in the water. Then he rubbed the stick on the stone. And there was the ink to dip his brush in. Can you imagine what it looked like? Now the other students worked hard at their writing, but not Joji. With his brush and rice paper, he did nothing for hours but draw. And what Joji drew was just one thing. Cats. Cats, cats, and more cats. Inside cats, outside cats, 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 cats. Joji, the priest told him. You must stop drawing all those cats. How will you ever become a priest? I'm sorry, honorable sir. I'll try to stop. And he did try. But whenever Joji saw one of those temple cats go by, he forgot about his writing and drew another cat. That was bad enough. Then Joji started drawing on the folding screens of the temple. Soon. There were cats on all the rice paper panels. They were everywhere. Joji, you'll never make a priest, the priest told him sadly. You'll just have to go home. Joji went to his room and packed his things. But he wasn't ready to go home. He thought he could go on an adventure and see what else he could find. Joji started walking out. It was already night when he got to the other village and saw a temple. 
he climbed the steps to the temple and knocked. Book, book, book. There was no answer. He opened the heavy door and it was all dark inside. That's strange, said Joji. Why isn't anyone here? He lit a lamp by the door. Then he saw something that made him clap. All around the big room were folding screens with empty rice paper panels. Joji got out his writing box and made some ink. Then he dipped in his brush and he started to draw. And what Joji drew was just one thing. Cats. Cats, cats, and more cats. Inside cats, outside cats. Cats, cats, cats. The screen he drew on last was almost as long as the room. Joji covered it with one gigantic cat, the biggest and most beautiful cat he had ever drawn. Joji looked around the room. No one and nothing else was there, just the screens with the cats. Then Joji looked again at the one gigantic cat. Didn't I draw the head to the left? And the tail to the right? Yes, he was sure of it. But now the cat faced the other way, as if it had come down off the screen and gone back up again. The cat, Joji said. His eyes grew wide. Then he pressed his palms together and bowed to the screen. When the villagers heard, that his cats had chased away the mice that had been eating all of the crops. Joji became a hero. The village priest let him live in the temple as long as he liked. But Joji did not become a priest, and he did not become a farmer. He became an artist, a great artist, an artist honored through all the country. An artist who drew just one thing. Cats! Now that you've heard that story, what do you think about these images? What are some things you can see? Try taking a closer look, left to right, top to bottom. Pause the video at each one and try to find something you heard about in the story. What would you draw if your drawings turned to life like Joji's? If you have a pencil and paper at home, try drawing an animal you'd like to see. We'd love to see what you've made. Thank you for joining us for Stories in Art at the Yale University Art Gallery. We hope you enjoyed listening and looking with our storyteller.